What's going on everyone? This is Matt from Bronco Nation. We are out here today in Moab, Utah. And behind me, we have the Bronco Everglades. So we're gonna walk around it and show you all the details. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now the Bronco Everglades is the newest trim level in the Bronco lineup and is available exclusively for existing reservation holders. So starting here, we see we have a lot of new options uh, that are exclusive to the Bronco Everglades. And the first being this giant snorkel right here. Now this snorkel is obviously for water uh, and water fording, but also for snow and dust as well. Now the snorkel features easy swap plates that actually allow you to change the direction of the inlet depending on the conditions that you're in. Now also looking at this graphic here on the side, uh, it's a map of the Everglades, which is down in South Florida for those of you who are not aware, and it is the namesake of the Bronco Everglades. Uh, so we have that, the Everglades bradging and the Sasquatch logo there as well, because Sasquatch is standard on the Bronco Everglades. Now you might also notice that we have some squared off fender flares here, and those are exclusive to Everglades. Every other Bronco trim has uh, rounded fender flares, and these are squared off, which is a throwback to some of the earlier Bronco generations. And honestly, I think they look pretty cool. Now looking down here at the wheels, we have 35 inch Goodyear tires, which are standard for Sasquatch package, which is standard on Everglades, and some really cool carbonized gray uh, 17 inch alloy wheels. And these are by far my favorite wheels on any Bronco. Now working our way down the side here, you might notice the color of this vehicle, which is the desert sand color, uh, which is a new Bronco color exclusive to the Everglades. And I think it looks great. One of my favorites once again, so Everglades is hitting it out of the park. And we also have these cool uh, hoop steps. So these new removable hoop steps are actually a new option for the 2022 Bronco. Now looking up top, we have standard roof rails and crossbars so that you can mount whatever you want, whether it's a ski box, uh, maybe a tent, uh, lots of different options there. Ford offers a ton of accessories that you can put on the top of your Bronco and Everglades comes with that standard. Now there's a couple different things going on here in the front of the Bronco Everglades. The first being the carbonized gray grill with the black Bronco lettering. So that's unique to the Everglades. And we also have a standard worn Xeon 10S winch with a synthetic tow rope and a 10,000 pound towing capacity, as well as that bar that goes in front of it. Now we also have standard heavy duty modular front bumper, as well as steel bash plates that are found on the Black Diamond and Badlands trim levels. And because we have Sasquatch package on this, we do have Bilstein shocks, and the Everglades also offers front and rear locking uh, differentials. Now because the Everglades is clearly made for water fording, they actually raise the vents on the front and rear axles, the transmission, and the transfer case. So the water fording capability is now a little over three feet. So I've got the Colorado River behind me. I don't think we can drive through that, but we can drive through a little over three feet of water, which is plenty enough uh, for the Bronco Everglades. Now I already commented on the color of the Bronco Everglades here, which is desert sand, a new color exclusive only for Everglades, but you can also get the Bronco Everglades in eruption green, area 51, cactus gray, and shadow black. Now being made for rugged and particularly wetlands environments like the Everglades, it makes sense that the Bronco Everglades has marine grade vinyl seats on the interior, as well as the rubberized washout floors. We also see that the Everglades has an urban green stitching or accent color all the way throughout the interior, which I kind of like. It's, it's not super green, but it's a little bit more uh, on the gray side. And so it's very subtle, but definitely complements the rest of the vehicle well. Now the Everglades does feature mid-package content, so we get different features like footwell lighting, dual climate control, auto dimming uh, rear view mirror, and illuminated mirrors in the visor. Now one thing that you'll notice that is different than the mid-package content is the 12 inch screen right here. So normally that would not come with mid-package, but due to customer request and customer feedback, uh, popular demand, they did include the 12 inch screen with the other mid-package content. So it's something that I love. It features SYNC 4 and uh, we've had it in our Bronco Nation Ambassador unit for the past year. We've absolutely loved the 12 inch screen and um, I think any Everglades owner is gonna love it too. So we also have our standard aux switches up here that can be wired up to accessories throughout the vehicle and our hero switches up top here. So we have our front and rear locking differentials as well as our trail turn control, uh, our traction control and our hazards. 
Now the Bronco Everglades, like any other Bronco, does offer a number of different goat modes. So we have normal driving mode, eco, sport, slippery, mud and ruts, sand, rock crawl, and that's it. And we do not get a heated steering wheel with the Bronco Everglades, but we do get heated front seats, which is a good option that does come with marine grade vinyl. Now making our way to the rear of the Bronco Everglades, there's not a whole lot new that's going on here, but we do have this great interior color scheme uh, with again, that urban green stitching throughout. And we also see here, we have USB-C and USB-A power ports and 110 volt uh, outlets so you can plug in and charge whatever you would need to. We have the window controls here on the rear of the console, as well as a molly grid on the rear of those front seats. Now, unfortunately, the Bronco Everglades does not feature the 2.7 liter EcoBoost and the 2.3 liter four cylinder EcoBoost is standard, but you do still get 300 horsepower and 325 uh, pound feet of torque, which is plenty of power for your Bronco. Well, Bronco Nation, that wraps up our walk around of the Ford Bronco Everglades. I think this is one of my favorite trim levels. There's so many unique parts to it and pricing starts right at $53,000. So Bronco Nation, thanks so much for joining us. Make sure you subscribe, stay tuned for more content, and we'll see you on the trails.